those who become are those who never settle. They know that there is always a better and greater version. Believers, in times of adversity, remember to anchor your faith in God's unwavering love and promises. Trust in His divine plan and find strength in His presence. May this message serve as a source of encouragement and reaffirm your unshakable relationship with Him. Remain blessed as you listen. The anointing upon. Now, theologically speaking, when we talk about the anointing of the Holy Spirit, it is broadly classified in two dimensions. There is what is called the anointing within. Please pay attention now. And then there's what we call the anointing upon. Let me talk for a moment about the anointing within. First John chapter 2, 20, and then we'll go to verse 27. Is God speaking to someone already? But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. Then verse 27. But the anointing which you have received from him abided in you, and ye need not that any man teach you, but the same anointing teacheth you all things, and is truth and no lie. And even as it has taught you, ye shall abide in him. What is the anointing within? Just for your understanding. I wrote here, it is the engracing that comes with the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Now at the point of salvation, there, there is the encounter with Jesus, the son of the living God. Please look up. Let's do a bit of Bible study now when you receive jesus christ as you call it the, his life it is true that we confess that you have received jesus but the actual personality that represents the presence of jesus that comes to live in the believer is the holy spirit jesus as a person today is living in the believer through the holy spirit but as a person his current position is at the right hand of the father you need to understand this are we together so the assignment of the holy spirit is to answer to anything that jesus his name his power represents so when the believer receives jesus christ alongside with the coming of the holy spirit to indwell that believer there is an engracing that comes this is what is called the anointing within it is responsible for the inner work it is that anointing within that is responsible for the inner work of character and conformity to the image of christ in experience are we together the anointing within has nothing to do with ministry per se ministering to people the recipient is the principal beneficiary of that anointing so when that engracing comes it begins to do the inner work of cleansing the inner work of building the character of christ it is the anointing that produces what we call the fruit of the spirit are we together now the manifestation of the character of the spirit in the believer love joy peace patience so it doesn't matter where you are coming from it doesn't matter the prior mindset the moment you come into christ with the indwelling of the holy spirit comes the advantage of that engracing is called the anointing within are we together now it is your responsibility to walk in partnership with the holy spirit to cultivate and increase that anointing that anointing can become docile and dormant through your non-participation while you focus on other aspects of the anointing listen very carefully in as much as it comes to work in you all through the process of that regeneration and transformation the holy spirit depends on your cooperation you will never force your will are we together so you can choose even with the anointing within dwelling in you that i'm not interested in building the character of the christ you will see that you have been saved genuinely but the proof the fruit of righteousness does not manifest in you and as you will be learning what gives credence to this next level of the anointing i want to talk about is this very one because when all is said and done you will be learning that the anointing upon is for service 
that is the charismatic dimension of the anointing that is the one people usually see that is one they usually celebrate but in order of spiritual superiority this one you have received is the one that makes you like christ the one that i'm about to talk about helps you to do the works of christ it does not make you like christ so you can be an individual who is not like christ yet you are doing the work of christ did you hear what i said just because you correctly you can be doing the work of christ correctly but you are none of his because that transformation and that conformity you see that it is the reason why you do not accredit people based on the manifestation of the gift of the spirit and so on and so forth are we together a rod can receive the anointing upon but it cannot become like christ a donkey can talk just because an anointing came upon it are we together now yes the bible talks about the fruit of the spirit then it talks about the gift of the spirit fruit is proof that a tree has become matured it takes time for fruit you don't plant a tree and then it produces fruit no are we together fruit is a testament that maturity has happened to that tree it's important that we get this because there are many people who because of the charismatism around this other dimension they ignore this inner walking because it's usually quiet can i tell you before god announces you this first phase if you are to grow correctly when god calls you for a long time the anointing upon will not come and that's what beguiles many people that they are not making spiritual progress because we usually think when the anointing comes the power now everybody begins to hear about you and most people graduate themselves from the school of the spirit not allowing him to walk this inner walk in them what helps you to sustain the anointing upon is the strength of your work with God within because now you will be learning that with the anointing upon there are many things that it brings fame increase 